Rates tell us how quickly various processes take place. Problems involving rates can be easily solved using dimensional analysis. Here we'll look at a couple of examples. For our first example, an exhaust fan is being installed in a new bathroom. On high speed, the rate of flow of air through the fan is 150 CFM. CFM stands for cubic feet per minute. The bathroom the fan is being installed in is 12 feet by 10 feet and the ceiling is 8 feet high. While the fan is operating, fresh air comes in an open window to replace the air that has been removed by the fan. We're asked how long it would take this fan to exhaust all the air in this bathroom running at high speed. The first thing we do is have a look at the rate of flow of air through this fan. We see it is 150 cubic feet per minute. We'll make a note of that here, that the rate of flow is 150 feet cubed per minute. Whenever we have some kind of rate in a question, we can make two conversion factors out of it. One possible conversion factor is a fraction with 150 feet cubed in the numerator and one minute in the denominator. If a conversion factor is valid, it also means its reciprocal is valid. So one minute over 150 feet cubed is also a valid conversion factor we can write given this rate. We're told that the dimensions of the bathroom are 12 feet by 10 feet and the ceiling is 8 feet high. Given the dimensions of the room, we can determine the total volume of air in the room using the formula volume equals length times width times height. The length is 12 feet, the width is 10 feet, and the height of the room is 8 feet. So the volume is 12 feet times 10 feet times 8 feet which is equal to 960 cubic feet. Now we know the volume and the rate of flow of air through the fan. The question asks how long it will take to exhaust all the air in the room when the fan is running at 150 cubic feet per minute. To calculate the time, we take the volume of 960 feet cubed and multiply it by a conversion factor based on the rate. The two conversion factors based on the rate are 150 feet cubed per minute and one minute per 150 feet cubed. But which one shall we use? Time can be measured in minutes, so if our answer is in minutes, the units will work out correctly. So we need the unit minutes on top of our answer. In the second conversion factor on the top of the page, minutes is on the top and feet cubed is on the bottom. So this is the correct conversion factor to use. So we multiply the 960 feet cubed by the conversion factor one minute over 150 feet cubed. Notice that the unit feet cubed is on the top and the bottom of our expression, which means feet cubed can be canceled out leaving us with the unit minutes, which is a measure of time. To get the answer, we take 960 and divide by 150, which gives us a final answer of 6.4 minutes. So now we can state that it takes 6.4 minutes, or a little less than 6.5 minutes, to exhaust all the air in the bathroom if the fan is running at high speed. Here is the full answer to this question, all in one page. It would be good to review this and make sure it makes sense to you. Notice how we used dimensional analysis or manipulation of units to help us set this solution up. Here is another example. A three-quarter horsepower water pump is able to pump 1,990 liters of water in 30 minutes, running at full speed. We're asked to determine the flow rate of this pump in liters per hour. Pause the video and try working through this example on your own. Then resume the video to check your answer. First, let's take a close look at the unit they want for flow rate. It is liters per hour. So we can calculate this rate by dividing the liters pumped by the hours it takes to pump this amount of water. We're given the amount of water pumped in a time of 30 minutes. 
but our flow rate needs to be in liters per hour. So we should start by converting 30 minutes into hours. We know that one hour is 60 minutes. So we can multiply 30 minutes by the conversion factor one hour per 60 minutes. We chose to write the conversion factor between minutes and hours this way because the unit minutes is on the top and the bottom. So they can be canceled out, leaving us with the unit hours. We calculate the time in hours by dividing 30 by 60, which gives us 0.5 hours. We want the flow rate in liters per hour, so to calculate it we take the volume in liters divided by the time in hours. We are able to pump 1990 liters in 0.5 hours. So we can calculate the flow rate by dividing 1990 liters by 0.5 hours, giving us 3980 liters per hour or approximately 4,000 liters per hour. So we can state that our pump has a maximum flow rate of approximately 4,000 liters per hour. Here is the full solution to the problem all in one page. It would be good to go through it step by step and make sure it makes sense to you. Notice how we use dimensional analysis or manipulation of units to help us set this solution up.